Hi, I'm Kelsey from RoughandTumbleFarmhouse.com and today we're going to talk about puffball mushrooms. So I'm out here right now in one of our pastures where puffball mushrooms have shown up uh, the last two years at least that we've been here. And I can see that there's a couple out there, not as many as usual. Um, puffballs, as you'll see, they're just a big puffy ball basically almost when I first saw one I thought that someone had left some sort of a sports ball on our property and then I realized oh no it's a puff ball because they can be anywhere from the size of like a grapefruit up to just like these massive things that people can like barely hold um, so we live in northern Minnesota or kind of northwest centralish Minnesota and puff balls typically come out around this time of year usually like between the first week and last week of September depending on what the weather is like so um, the puff balls are ready to go and it's kind of dusky so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it looks like there's two of them out there one is a little further gone than I'd like and one is just about perfect so I'll show you those two puff balls um, how we harvest them how to identify them and what we can do with them so we are right now kind of in this little thicket that's next to our main pasture here. And typically there are quite a few puffballs that'll be just out in the pasture, but again, this year I'm not seeing any. That's one right there that we will harvest and take in, but I wanted to show you this one over here. As you can see, there's like this little kind of crick thing that runs over here. And so this is an area that's really good for mushrooms because it's kind of a little bit moist and gets a little bit of sun, but not much. Um, so here we can see a puffball, and this one is too mature. You can tell because it is kind of broken its shape. Um, it's just kind of exploding a little bit. So this is one that um, I'm not gonna take because it's just been here a little bit too long already. And in terms of what will affect how quickly a puffball goes from um, kind of fruiting to being ready to harvest, it really depends on moisture and air temperature um, and things like that. So this one over here I did notice as well a few days ago and I was just gonna let them get a little bit bigger and so this one as you can see is pretty sizable um, here compared to my hand it's a pretty big mushroom and so harvesting them is really simple all we're gonna do is just peel it up and so it's not unusual for there to be like some little grubby type things um, on the bottoms of your mushrooms especially as they get more mature they'll get more of that um, it's not a big deal, you just kind of cut the bottom off, but this one um, looks pretty good. And so I'm just gonna carry this in and I'll show you how we check to make sure it's actually a puffball and not another type of mushroom. Okay, so when it comes to mushrooms, one of the main things you always wanna know is, is this the mushroom I think it is? Cause you don't wanna poison yourself. Now, puffballs are one that's pretty easy to tell. So we're just gonna slice this big guy right open and I haven't cleaned it or anything yet, which we still need to do. So here you can see definitely that it's starting to get a little bit far gone. But what you wanna look for is any kind of shape so if there was if this was not a puffball mushroom if it was like an amanita type or something you would see kind of the shape of the mushroom eventually that's going to become sort of inside so that's normally if you just have kind of smaller puffballs you know ones that are like this size or smaller you know like your fist or smaller but this big one's pretty obvious but so it's perfectly white there's no different coloring there um so this is 100 percent a puffball mushroom so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut away all this um extra stuff here kind of brush off this dirt and i'm actually going to cut off all of the outer skin i'm just going to kind of peel it because it's kind of tough and not that good for eating okay so i went ahead and cut off kind of the dirtier parts of the mushroom and this one actually if you can just get your finger under it you can peel off this outer layer and that's going to leave behind the kind of more tender layer that you can use to eat. So pretty much anywhere that you would use like a button mushroom, you can use a puff ball. You can also cut it. I'll have a recipe on the blog post link below in the video um, for making kind of a mushroom schnitzel. It is so, so, so good. Um, otherwise, you can also dehydrate it. If you check out my shiitake video, I'll link to that as well. I talk a little bit about dehydrating mushrooms. Otherwise, it is one that you, it's such a big mushroom and you really kind of want to use it fresh like with most mushrooms the sooner you can use it the better now I have not pickled before um, a puffball mushroom but I just I feel like it's not quite the right texture like if you're gonna pickle chanterelles or something like that or 
um, even a shiitake mushroom it's a little more doable I think because it does have that outer skin that is a little more solid but a puffball is so much if you have one of these things it's it's just like a thick kind of wet foam almost this isn't a mushroom that I think would be a good uh, a good candidate for for pickling but so what I'm probably gonna do with this is I'm gonna just cut it up and I'm gonna store it in the fridge until tomorrow because I don't have plans for eating mushrooms today but tomorrow I will take this cut it into big slabs and I'm going to go ahead and fry up some puffball schnitzel and like I said check out the blog post to learn more about that but anyway this is what a puffball mushroom is how you can make sure that you really do have a puffball and how you want to clean it and how you can use it so thanks for watching always tune in at our channel for more videos every week about farming family food and fortitude take care and happy mushrooming mm -hmm.